morning everybody to a week two of my new property. I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. It's been an odd old week in New Zealand, Tauranga. Um, we've had a little outbreak of COVID Delta. So 196 days ago, I think our last lockdown was. So our fantastic Prime Minister has put us into lockdown for seven days. And I think when, as of yesterday, we had about 32 cases of Delta, but the rest of the world will understand that spreads quite quickly and is pretty dangerous. So we're in lockdown, hence why I haven't had much of an update because I haven't been able to buy any supplies or any tradies have been able to come up. So that's a bit of a bugger, but I have done a few things around the property and I thought I'd show you a few of those things uh, this morning. So it's Saturday morning, week two of Ray's Kiwi Garden. So let me take you around. I've actually pruned an old persimmon tree and I'm just identifying some of the trees that may need to come out and uh, getting my potato boxes ready and I've ordered my potato seeds and there's my view of the lovely mount so anyway come with me and I'll take you around the property. This week here I was digging out the Boston, not the Boston Ivy, the David Austin roses so I think I've transplanted about eight or nine because like I said this will be all decked from here covering all of these plants so I'm going to try and rescue a few of them. Uh, that's my mum's little dog Pango. So there's a few really nice little trees and shrubs that probably do need to come out as well that I'll rescue before we put the deck up. So let's get back to what I did this week. So I pruned this persimmon tree because apparently it has quite good fruit but it was a funny shape and tree and I kind of like the whole structure of it out from there and here so I cut these little dead branches off and I've painted them with a product that is supposed to stop any rot or disease getting into the tree it's coming into spring here so it's a perfect time to do any pruning before the buds and that come up unfortunately this big old camellia is going to have to go because as you can imagine when I come over this way, it actually would slightly obscure my view of the mount. So, goodbye, Camellia. Pretty as you are, a deck's going to be here. So, that's what I did to the, uh, this week. It's my gorgeous view of the Waimapu River. I'll take you around the back and show you a few other little things that I've done. I have done a few, had a few suggestions on what I need to do with the house and the yard, but I'm taking my time so I can kind of get to know what I really need to do. This area here, I think is gonna be beautiful for a deck as well. It's slightly protected with the wind, so that's a new idea. And because the ground's so uneven, I think it's really important to put the deck as far as I can out here. Got rid of some wild ginger. It's a noxious weed in New Zealand. There's some beautiful native trees here that have some gorgeous wild birds in like Kedaru, Tuis. It's a loka tree. Don't know how I'm going to pick it. I have to take my life into my own hands crawling down that bank. So this is the back of the house. This little uh, shed here will go and a new shed will be built. The little kitty's little house there will probably stay. It's quite cute make a good garden shed but look at the backyard it's just full of citrus fruit trees it's like a citrus grove all along here down the center is plum trees and I've got a feeling that I don't really know tell me if you know I think it might be a blue spruce but I'm not sure blue spruce pine tree these are Louisa plum I'm going to get into pruning a few of those today. Try and open up a few of the uh, just branches in the center, just so it doesn't get too high for the reach, really. But it's just starting to bud up with some fruit spurs now. So I'll cut off some of the water shoots. It's pretty easy to identify the water shoots. I've done it over here on this one. See how nice and low it is. Um, cut off all the old water shoots and it's looking really good loads of fruit Louisa plum that is a I think it's a guava 
They're pretty small, but anyway, fruit's fruit. Mandarin tree, tangelo, lemon. I think it's a Maya lemon, to be honest, but look at it. Everybody that visits me, when we're not in COVID, is welcome. Oranges, more oranges. Not quite sure what type of orange this one is, but it looks quite nice. I think that one there is another orange, I'm not sure. And then that is a lemonade. Excuse the road noise. This is where I'm going to put my potato boxes. Last night I ordered online. <laughs> I got a little bit carried away and ordered quite a few seed potatoes from New Zealand Bulbs Direct and uh, they should be arriving in the next 7 to 10 days. So looking forward to planting my potatoes. So they'll be early potatoes ready for Christmas. And over this back fence is the other property. Right down the end, the white building right down there is the other house. That's the main road over here, as you can see. That's the sheep. <laughs> and the baby lambs and right down there is the house that I will be renovating when I'm finished this one. I'll just spin back round give you another view from this way. So that's part two of Ray's Kiwi Garden. See you in the next video.